Hello and welcome to Discussion Starter, a series designed to do that. It's a working title. So to get the ball rolling on this one, I'm going to share my personal top 5 wishes for 2017. So number 5 is more than just one set. So this is an obvious pick and I didn't want to be too negative in the video, I was quite negative in the year's summary I did with the metaphor, link in the description. So that's why what could be number 1 is here at the bottom. That all being said though, I definitely want more than one set this year. And when I say just one set, I mean I'd like another Celestial Solstice type product, but for the now done EO block. Like, they don't even need to make two mains for it, the Sands of Time mains could finally get their first legal printings, and hey, they could be giant for all I care. It seems simple enough to me, but yeah, it's one of my biggest hopes. And number four is more commissioned art. I know there always seems to be at least like one commissioned piece each set, but I'd love it to be like at least five or four or something crazy high like that. Because every time I see new images, it's really cool and they're really like bright and vibrant and there's all this effort put in. I just want more of it. I know it's expensive and it's much, much more money consuming than just say, hey look, there's a screen cap of said character, let's use that. But I just think it's really cool whenever we get new art. Number three is for old mechanics to come back in big ways. Okay, so tell me something. When was the last time that you saw something with pumped being used? How about teamwork? You know, that wasn't carbo loader. Prismatic, anyone? Because I sure don't. And it's a shame, too. Pumped, for example, has a lot of potential. Everyone remembers Eagle, right? Yeah, I understand that it'll take a whole lot of tweaking, and it's probably a bit too easy to push them too far and make them broken. And it is probably a bit more interesting when we get new mechanics rather than old ones. But personally, I'm a sucker for seeing old things come back, and I may just want Prismatic to be tier 1, because I'm a little weird. Number two is to make greater use of the secondary formats. So Interplay told us that we have block constructed. Uh, they said it was a good way to get new players into the game because they don't have the older cards. And that's all I can honestly find for official support for the format. Which is a shame, as variety is a great way to keep the game from going stale. Like, a little idea I've had is to create a big month where promos are all sent out to the local game stores and Interplay ask them to hold a tournament once a week for a month. Week one could be Harmony, Week 2 could be Old Block, Week 3 could be Equestrian Odysseys Block, and Week 4, I don't know, have the locals vote on it. I'm pretty sure Pauper's quite popular right now, so maybe it could be that. And then at the end, based on your entire ranking over the four tournaments, everyone gets their spot, and it feels like you're fighting for something really big, and I don't know, you just get a cool promo, you know, like how they usually do things, or a playmat. But anyway, my main point is that while set releases are slower now, Supporting a larger list of things to do with the game will help stop people from being lost in the wait. I only just started looking on the Reddit and found quite a few extra format suggestions. Then again, based on what people say on the internet, I may be outnumbered when it comes to this, as people seem to not like block constructed at all. Before I get on to number one, I'm going to go over a few quick honourable mentions. More promos of cheap staples in product. Everyone likes promo Kevin, right? Cool, just do it again. Maybe some reprints, and not just as promos. I'm not against being able to pull stuff like Interdimensional Portal or Yoinks out of the new set's boosters. News on that website that was announced a while ago. I remember an announcement that there was going to be this large website to track the competitive scene or something like that, and I've heard nothing else of it, so it'd be cool. It's probably dead, but if you know anything about it, just tell me, because I've seen nothing. Seeing Yellow come back would be nice. Seriously, it hasn't been good for ages. And number one is Let's Do More Limited. It had to be my number one pick. I mean, when I talk about spoilers, I talk about limited playability. The draft packs are an awesome start, and I know that, but as a British citizen, having the spare boosters to just do some sealed is almost impossible, so I'm basically begging for more official limited tournaments. They are fun, they test the players' skills, and help you appreciate cards that you'd never even think about in your constructed decks. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a format where playing a Magic Wings on a friend feels safe? Rather than like, oh, they're just going to frighten it and I'm going to have wasted four action tokens. Anyway, uh, I shouldn't get sidetracked. I love Limited. Please just give us more Limited. Thank you for watching my opinion on what I want out of 2017. Agree or disagree with me? Comment down below. I'm genuinely intrigued about what other people want to see happen this year. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
Now, if you're wondering what my goals are for the channel in 2017, I'd say probably the biggest one that I highly doubt is going to happen, but I can dream, is that I get noticed by Enterplay and get an official spoiler off them for the channel. Ain't going to happen, but I can dream. Other than that, I just want to improve my skills and keep moving forward rather than going backwards because I keep having breaks. Try not to have as many breaks as I did last time, but it's life. I have no idea what's going to get in my way. And maybe just try and advertise myself as I'm going to be on the Reddit now, trying to get involved in the community as I've been a bit detached from it and I feel like I'm missing out on quite a bit of, you know, what the community's like. So putting myself there and getting to know everyone sounds like a good idea.